What's up everybody, it's Stuart here. Welcome to the Baby Lion Hot Shot Trucking Channel where I do my best to bring you the truth about hot shot trucking. Now behind me here, I have all my equipment laid out on the trailer, okay? One of the last days before the harsh winter rolls in. It's beautiful out. It's a great day to show you the equipment that you're gonna need to be successful at hot shot. Oh yeah, and before we get started, if you're already in the hotshot industry and you see something I'm talking about and you have your own experience or suggestion, go ahead and drop it in the comments. And if you like that I laid everything out for you, drug it out of my trailer, put in the effort so I could show you a hands-on what you're gonna need, go ahead and give it a like, guys. I really appreciate it. All right, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so we're just gonna start our way from the back of the trailer and go to the front of the trailer. Um, first and foremost, you're going to want chains, okay? If you're going to be hauling bobcats, tractors, any type of heavy equipment, uh, I've hauled garbage, uh, garbage compactors, chains have been working the best for me. I got about 60, I mean, I'm sorry, six chains, and they are, they are G, G70, okay? This is what you need for hauling anything in the hot shot industry. Make sure they're G70. Those will be linked in the description. Now, you're gonna need binders, right? I've gotten a lot of backlash on these types of binders, okay? And I'm not gonna link these down below. I'm going to, I just bought this and I'm gonna get more of them. These are much more safer when you have things with axles, okay? And you melted it to the frame. Um, I'm scared that those are gonna like pop open. These ratchets, are not going to pop open so this is what you need and uh they have more expensive ones than this but this will do just fine this is like almost overkill get six chains six ratchet uh binders okay now you're gonna need some v hooks when you get stuck okay and the only thing you can find is a car you're gonna need to get I got eight of these. On this non-CDL hotshot setup, I can only fit really one car, so I only need four of these. But you hook it through the through the tire, and I have a video that I'll put right up here in the upper right, and you can click on that if you're interested in hauling cars. But these are what you need, okay? Try not to chain cars. Now, with that being said, these are how you, these are ratchets. Okay, you're gonna need to tie stuff down. These are two inch ratchets and they go along with your two inch straps. Uh, I'd say probably have about eight of those because you're gonna, you're gonna have four inch right here and you're gonna have two inch, okay? Like right over the wheels, what am I gonna strap it to? These things will hit your tires. So you're gonna need your two inch to put from rail to rail to hold stuff down in this general uh, vicinity. Now, with that being said, when you strap your four inch, by the way, these are US cargo. Um, they've done really well for me. I'm gonna link these in the description along with these uh, bolt-on ratchets that hook onto your rail. Now, come here, I wanna, sh I wanna show you how these bolt-on Okay. You have two little bolts up there. They tighten. Let's see if the camera can get clear. Those two little bolts, they tighten down and uh, this thing doesn't go anywhere. I don't care what anybody tells me, those never come loose. And I have about 10 of them from the front of my trailer all the way to the back, okay? Now, to tighten those, you're gonna need a breaker bar. This part fits inside of here, okay? And you can press down on it, okay? And you can also get two twists out of it depending on how you, how you get it. You need this. This also comes with a block up here. You see that? Okay, now follow me, follow me. For these, this goes in here and it gives you more leverage to tighten down the chains. You won't be able to tighten these down with just your hands if you have it really secure. And if you can do it with your hands, it's probably not tight enough. So, 
Now, once these are over, the the cargo or the freight, it could be have sharp edges. You're gonna need corner protectors, otherwise it'll slice right through this. And those are like $30 a pop. You're not gonna be wanting to buy those all the time. So this is gonna go on top of your freight. Those are gonna wrap around here. Now, I'm not gonna link these plastic ones in the description, because as you can see, you see that crack? Can you see that crack? Okay. These are cheap. Um, actually, they weren't cheap. Each of these is like $6. I'm sure on Amazon, they were gonna be less because I got this at a truck stop. I needed them bad uh, at that moment. I'm gonna link rubber ones or metal ones in the description for you. Uh, yeah, these, they work, but I can see them breaking often. Now, for DOT approved things that you absolutely need in your truck, you're gonna need three triangles, okay? I have a couple more triangles. Um, just because, you know, I wanna give people as much reflective blinking shit as possible to see me on the side of the road in case of a breakdown. Now, I also have flares. I think you also need flares in your truck in case um, anything, in case you're in a really dark area. I don't know why. You definitely need a fire extinguisher, okay, mounted in your truck. If dot pulls you over, you don't have one of these things, that could be an out of service. All right, a lot of places require PPE gear, okay? They won't load you if you don't have a hard hat and a vest. Most places will, but you come to that one place, the load's gonna pay you $2,000, and now you can't even get loaded because you don't have these things. Was it really worth it? Just a vest and a hard hat. That'll be on the list down below. Okay, now. When you buy a gooseneck trailer, you're gonna need a gooseneck trailer lock. These things just keep adding up, but you have to have a gooseneck trailer lock. Someone could just pull up to your trailer and see you later, alligator, okay? You don't want that. Now, when you go to, follow me, when you go to strap these, use these straps to these straps, yes, there's ways to tie them down Okay, without zip ties, but boy, I have one zip tie left to show you guys. Um, I just zip tie, okay, let's use this as an example. Um, boom, I put it right there, put it right here. Now my extra slack, boom, that ain't go going anywhere. That's why I have zip ties. It just makes your life easier. You don't need them to get started. I'm not gonna put them on the uh, shopping list below, but I'd get them. Tape measure, okay? Bring a tape measure with you. If you have freight on half your trailer and you need to book a partial so your trailer is making money, okay? You're not just breaking even. You need to, make money. You need to get something on the back there. You need to know how much trailer space you have because you don't want to show up and then boom, all of a sudden you can't even fit it. So know your dimensions, tape measure, super cheap, comes in handy. Now, when you tarp, you're gonna need about 100 of these. Well, you'll probably need about like, depending on the load, anywhere from 20 to 60 to 75 bungees, right? Get 100 of these, keep them in your truck. You're gonna lose them, okay? They're gonna fall off. Your tarp's gonna be whipping in the wind. They're gonna fall off, you're gonna lose them. Get a hundred of these, 250 packs, okay? Speaking of tarps, when you tarp something, you're gonna need moving blankets, okay? No one likes tarping, but it's part of the job, okay? Moving blankets are gonna save your tarp from getting ripped. These things are like $250 a pop, okay? You can get even more expensive ones. So take care of your tarps, they'll take care of you. Get some moving blankets and Get some tarps. I'll have these linked in the description. These ones are a little too small, actually. So I would recommend at least four foot drop, okay, at least 20 foot long. It'll be a little bit heavier. These are only 10 feet long, but you're gonna be able to, I mean, cover a lot more. Something I'm gonna put down below is a jack. Not this jack. It's gonna be a bottle jack, okay? This is only a three ton. And it's too big to put in my truck. Like, yeah, I take the stick off, but 
you're gonna want a bottle jack. It'll carry like 25, 30 ton, and it's small and compact, okay? Now, let's go over here. These things have saved me many times. My Milwaukee tools, uh, if you have to cut dunnage, okay? If you have to, you know, put stuff up off your trailer, I can pop, pop, pop wood onto my trailer, get the, the freight nice and even. Whatever I gotta do, I can cut wood, I can nail wood, okay? These are nice things to have. You don't have to have them, okay? 90% of the time, you're not going to need them. But I've used these in the last six months probably 10 times. No, probably more. I don't know, but I'm always glad I, I brought those with me. Um, get yourself some boots, okay? You're gonna be loading in the rain. It's just gonna be uh, not great ideal weather conditions every single time. Sorry about it. Anyways, so I think that I covered as much as I could and I wanna keep the video short, as short as possible. It's just so much equipment. Um, if you guys like this video, if you found any value in it, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any suggestions for the people that are watching this and they're new to the hotshot industry and you think that I said something that wasn't, you know, if there's a better way to go about it, um, comment below. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, follow along. I'll see you in the next one.